Today we're going to answer one of the most common questions that we hear, and that is how often should I change my valve springs in my 602? And I'm here today with Craig Brownfield from Hendron Racing Engines, and he's going to show us how to use LSM Racing Products, their valve spring pressure tester. So I'm going to let Craig show us what we need to do in order to uh, test these valve springs. So, so tell us, Craig, what do we need to do? All right, first we're going to rotate this motor over until the valve is actually on the seat. It's open. Now we're actually on the seat. That's where we're going to check our pressures at. Run tool up on the front, hook the back of the rocker, and then you're basically just going to pull it till you feel this valve just come off the seat. And I'm getting about 72, 73 pounds. You can just... Now, is that pretty typical? Yeah, they're going to be lower than what... Uh, than what you would get on a bench top tester. It's more of a reference than anything. Yes, and I know with your help, we've developed a, uh, a sheet, a log that you can use to test your, test your valve springs or keep track of, of them and when, they, when their pressures change. So there you have it. You're going to want to turn your engine in order to make sure that your, your valve is, is properly set before you uh, do your next one. And that's using the LSM Racing Products Valve Spring Pressure Tester, as I mentioned. And what I didn't mention is that we've ordered the one where it has a 160 pound gauge. Um, there are other testers out there. A lot of times their pressures are a lot higher, which means that you won't get as, as accurate of a reading. So we get the one with the lower, the 160 rather than the 600. And then we'll also have a log that you can download on our website Website at crateinsider.com. Um, it'll probably be in the comments of this video if you're watching it on YouTube or there'll be a link to the article on our website and you'll be able to download the PDF so that you can then have your own log and keep track as you go of, of your valve spring pressures. And hopefully that saves you a little bit of money in that you're not changing your valve springs too often and at the same time you're also catching problems before they start. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you at crateinsider.com.